Well, it's summertime and you could send your kids to a camp where they do normal things like hike, fish, and swim, or you could send them to one where they learn how to design Antifa flags. Check it out. If you take a visit to Toland, Massachusetts, you may run into a little place called Camp Kinderland, which bills itself as a multicultural summer camp and community that honors our progressive secular Jewish roots through our commitment to economic, racial, and social justice. Kinderland's summer programming and year-round activities integrate progressive values with art, recreation, and activism in a compassionate and caring environment. Camp Kinderland got the nickname Commie Camp from progressive journalist Katie Halper. She used it facetiously in response to some right-wing commentators, but I was checking up on one of my favorite pro-Antifa professors, Dartmouth lecturer Mark Bray, and he posted some photos of around 50 Antifa flags that the Camp Kinderland kiddos had designed. Look, you have the traditional black and red, a blue Antifa flag, pink and black, there's something for everyone. And of course, Mark thinks this is super rad. Dr. Bray, in case you forgot, is the guy who wrote the Antifa handbook featured in one of those pictures and then donated half of the proceeds from that book to Antifa. Bray is also working on the intro for an Antifa comic book, which my doppelganger covered a few months back. But I've been thinking, there's still one super oppressed group that Marvel and DC Comics ignore, and that's me, Antifa, but not for long. My buddy Mark Bray, a history professor at Dartmouth, is writing the intro for this badass new Antifa comic book. Yeah, dude, look at this totally awesome cover art. Do you know how much courage it takes to isolate and swarm our enemies in surprise attacks and run away at, right at the small sign of resistance? I mean, black outfit, vigilante justice, I'm the modern day Batman, and I deserve to be treated as such. So let's get a few things out of the way. Raising your kids yourself is always going to be preferable to sending them to a camp. If you absolutely must send your kids to camp, or if it's just for a week or two for fun, I don't know why anyone in their right mind would send their kids to a political summer camp. But if you absolutely must send your kids to a political summer camp, you might want to check out Camp Constitution. The director of this camp emailed me saying that it's nearby in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, but ensuring me that it's the opposite of commie camp. It's on August 5th through 11th and apparently discusses America's Judeo-Christian moral heritage and free enterprise. It uses the unfortunate term freedom fight, which is used in some rather unsavory context internationally, but it honestly does sound like a good, wholesome, not communist experience. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.